Well, you may have been hearing that sound more recently. These are coyotes and their mating season is from now until March. Now this means they are more active and could be more aggressive toward pets. 10 News reporter Amelia Young spoke to a woman who is urging pet owners to be extra cautious during this time. Amelia. Robin, it's easy to get into a routine with your pet, like letting them out to go to the bathroom right before bed. But a dangerous woman is warning others to follow a few simple tips that could save your pet's life. I just don't want it to happen to any other dog. Like every other night for the past 10 years, Jessica Elliott let her dog, Daisy, out one last time before bed back in November. But in a matter of seconds, everything changed. My husband ran outside. And by the time he got out here, it was just too late. A coyote had attacked and killed Daisy. He heard her being attacked, so he came out the front door, jumped in the car, drove the car into the field and over to where they were. The coyote stayed over top of her the entire time. Elliot is now warning others to stop following their routine and start using more caution. Definitely take your dog out on a leash, no matter if you've done it a million times or not. If you see one on your property, the Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency says to throw rocks, shout, and make loud noises to discourage it from coming back. Something else you can do. Make sure garbage outside is secured with a tight lid and grills are covered so no smells can attract them. Lastly, the TWRA recommends clearing out brush and weeds. Doing this deprives prey of the protective cover and deters coyote from hunting around your home. Two months later, Elliot is still heartbroken from her loss and hopes sharing Daisy's story can save another dog's life. You don't want this to happen to your animal. And the TWRA also says if you have seen coyotes in your area, don't leave small children outside alone. Robin, John. Absolutely not. Amelia, thank you.